Laos takes over the chairmanship of ASEAN from Indonesia at the close of the 43rd ASEAN Summit in a ceremony that took place in Jakarta on September 7th. Let us welcome the ASEAN Chair for the year 2024. Your Excellency, Mr. Son Sai Si Pandong, please remain on the stage. Indonesian President Joko Widodo officially handed over the ASEAN Chairmanship baton to Prime Minister Son Sai Si Pandong, marking the start of Laos chairing of the 10-member Southeast Asian bloc in 2024. Addressing the ceremony, President Jokowi said, I officially closed the 43rd ASEAN Summit and related summits. I invite His Excellency Son Sai Si Pandon, Prime Minister of the Lao People's Democratic Republic, to continue ASEAN chairmanship in 2024. And now we pass the baton to Lao PDR. His Excellency Joko Widodo, President of Republic of Indonesia, Your Majesty, Excellencies, Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to extend my warmest congratulations to President Joko Widodo as well as the government of and people of Indonesia for successful conclusion of the 43rd ASEAN Submit and Related Submit. We highly commend and achievement under Indonesia ASEAN Chairmanship with the team ASEAN Methods, Epicentrum of Growth. The Lao PDR is honored to assume the ASEAN Championship in 2024, and we will build upon the achievement made under the Indonesian ASEAN Championship and success of ASEAN over the past years. We will focus on further considerating ASEAN community by and among others, enhancing connectivity and realizing and realize to seize opportunity, address challenges and changing geopolitical and geoeconomic landscape. To achieve a more connected and resilient ASEAN, we will continue collective effort in the following amongst others. Enhancing ASEAN cooperation, ASEAN external relation, and strengthening ASEAN unity and centrality involving regional architecture for the regional peace, stability, and development. Enhancing connectivities, narrowing the development gap, promoting carbon neutrality, and advancing digital transformation and economic integration, promoting people-to-people -people exchanges and cooperation for the climate resilience and health development. The Lao PDR stand ready to work closely with the all ASEAN member states and external, external partners to ensure the continued strengthening of ASEAN community and the success of the Lao PDR's ASEAN Championship under the team ASEAN Enhancing Connectivity and Resilience. We look forward to warmly welcoming you on to the Lao PDR and the Visit Lao Year 2024. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your remarks. We humbly request Your Excellency Prime Minister Si Pandon to return to your seat. The 43rd ASEAN Summit and related summits have conveyed a strong message from a robust, self-reliant and dynamic ASEAN. It is said that with nearly 20 activities and around 90 documents adopted and acknowledged, the 43rd ASEAN Summit and related summits have been a success. 
The significance of ASEAN stature has been clearly and consistently affirmed, evidenced by the participation of major countries and numerous partners in regional cooperation, jointly dealing with challenges for the common interests of peace, stability and development.